Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Listen, today we got something special for you guys. If you're trying to succeed in 2022 as a developer, either by getting a job or even freelancing or even building your own platforms, you need to watch this list. Top 10 skills to learn in 2022. Let's get started. Hey guys, we're going to start with number one right here, HTML and CSS. Now, if you are not good with HTML, CSS, guys, you might as well stop right now. Stop trying to go forward to the next language. Stop trying to learn the next skill. You need to focus on this first before you move on to anything else. You need to actually be good to be able to go and take a design and actually go and build it exactly how it looks. You also need to know how to make things responsive. So if you don't have those skills, stop whatever you're doing and get back to the basics. Number two, JavaScript. And yes, JavaScript got to be here. JavaScript is pretty much a prerequisite to becoming a web developer. This is the basics. Just like HTML, CSS, this is something that you need to know how it works because it's so engraved in the, the world of the web, okay? It could be in the front end. It could be in the back end, right? If you're going to manipulate the DOM, if you're going to create animations, right? If you're going to create a game, anything that has to do with the web, most likely you're going to have to touch JavaScript at some point, okay? So it's not just something for the front end. It could also be for the back end. So you definitely got to learn it. And you want to learn the, you know, the basics and the foundation of it, the vanilla JavaScript. Number three is React. And the reason why I mentioned React is because it's literally the number one JavaScript framework in the world. You've seen React on TV apps like Netflix. You've seen React on mobile apps like on Facebook. You've seen React literally on almost every single website that you could think of which is running React on the front end. And basically, React is very similar to just JavaScript. That's what I like about it. It's pretty much classes, pretty much functions. Now, the fact that there's so many jobs out there for React developers is another big plus for me to go in and say, you know what? You got to learn React in 2022. All right, guys, the next one that we have here is GraphQL, and I would definitely recommend for you guys to search for GraphQL and just learn the basics on how to query uh, to a GraphQL server, right? Uh, because there's so many new companies that are uh, switching over from a REST API to a GraphQL, and I think that, you know what, this is one of those technologies that we have to use even if we don't like it, right? I'm an old school dude. I like REST. And to be honest with you, GraphQL is not my favorite thing. But guess what? It's not up to me, right? <laughs> if the industry is switching up to GraphQL, guess what? We're going to have to use GraphQL. And I definitely recommend for you guys to learn how to query for your data with GraphQL. Now, of course, you could go in and learn how to set up a GraphQL server if you are going to be focusing on the back end. But the most important thing, it's really to learn how to query with GraphQL. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one. Now, the next one we have here is TypeScript. And TypeScript is basically JavaScript with syntax for types. That's pretty much it. And it has some extra features, things that um, basically a modern programming language should have, right? Some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people use it. Some people don't need it. But guess what? This is where the industry is going. And a lot of companies, especially once you go into medium size to large uh, companies and enterprise, right? They're pretty much using TypeScript. So it won't hurt you to actually learn this. All right. Now, we have another thing here, which is third party app integration. Okay. And this is a skill. Okay. Knowing how to use APIs, knowing how to work with other third parties and creating third-party apps, right? And I'm going to give you guys some examples, right? So if you go to shopify.dev, you can see you can create Shopify apps, you can create themes, you can create custom storefronts, and a lot of those things you get to do it working with APIs connecting to Shopify. Same thing for creating applications on platforms like Salesforce, right? You also have Squarespace, you also have Wix. And yes, I know some people say, oh my God, but aren't those things gonna take our job? Hell no. <laughs> That's like the most ignorant thing that I've heard, right? What this platforms do is they 
basically promote to get new customers. And guess what? They don't provide every single, you know, custom feature that the user needs. And guess what? For us developers, we get to go in and create applications within their platforms and make money. Okay. So in 2022, if you're still thinking about this, like, oh my God, uh, this is going to take over the world or, Hey, we're not going to have no more jobs because they signed up to Wix guys. Don't be ignorant. That's actually a huge opportunity for us. This is pretty much like creating an application in the app store for iOS or the app store for Android. Okay. Those are customers and clients that we probably wouldn't have been able to get ourselves. But now we go and create an application on those platforms and guess what? We get paid monthly recurring revenue, right? You could also charge on a yearly basis. You could also charge on a one-time fee. Okay. So yes, you need to learn the skills. Okay. Learn how to work with third-party app integrations. Okay. Don't be ignorant guys. The next one we have here is Node.js, and yes, we all love Node.js and JavaScript, okay? Uh, so I do believe that people should know how to create a server with Node.js, how to create some microservice uh, with Node.js, and shoot, if you want to build a full stack application with it, go ahead, okay? Now, I do want to warn you guys that when it comes to Node.js, the ability to find a job as a quote-unquote Node.js developer as a junior developer that have never had any experience, especially if you are self-taught, I can tell you right now, it's not that easy. Okay. It's not that easy to get a job as a Node.js developer. Okay. But you should have knowledge of what Node.js is and how to work with it. Okay. Especially for, uh, if you're going to be a front front end developer or any type of developer, like you need to know how to work with NPM and packages. Okay. So the next one we have here is PHP. And yes, I know you're like, Oh my God, PHP is dead. PHP is like the worst language. This is basically a zombie guys don't be ignorant again okay don't be ignorant php is one of those languages that have the most amount of jobs okay you could go in here search php you're gonna figure out that pretty much php is everywhere okay if you want to be more specific and you want to say title colon php you will see every single job that's actually mentioning php on their title but that doesn't mean that that's the only place that php is going to be used at okay because again if you search php you're gonna see things like webmaster right you're gonna see things like um working junior level php developer right you're gonna see wordpress you're gonna see magento you're gonna see woocommerce you're gonna see drupal you're gonna see a lot of different uh you know frameworks and and companies that use php and the good thing about PHP is that they're willing to give you a job. Okay. And that's what we're here for. You're here to get a job, get into the industry. And I can guarantee you, this is a guarantee. Companies that use PHP are willing to hire new developers who are self taught. Okay. Once you're in the industry, you got a year in, you could switch up to any language you want. You want to do Java, Haskell, you want to use Python, whatever it is. Guess what? This is where we have to go in and get our experience a lot of times, okay? The jobs are there. Don't miss them, okay? Don't go in there and be like, hey, man, I'm not going to apply because I don't want to do PHP. Guys, all you really should care about is to get into the industry. Okay. Now the next one we have here is SQL database. So you got Postgres, you got MySQL, you got MariaDB. You have a whole bunch of different type of, uh, SQL languages that you guys can learn. And I recommend this, especially if you're focusing on PHP, because that's what you're going to be using. Okay. So again, if you are a backend developer, you should learn how to work with SQL, SQL, uh, light, etc. Every type of SQL, right? You learn one, you're good to go with all the other ones. Okay. It will not hurt you. It will only help you to understand this because they will ask you questions about how will you query something? 
right? And, and your interviews, et cetera, right? And there's a whole bunch of things, right? I, I've kind of talked about this on a PHP project video that I did years ago. Uh, you could definitely go check that out. Uh, but definitely you want to go and learn SQL, okay? The next one is Web3. And Web3 is one of those things that are like a crazy keyword right now where you could go in and say web three this web three that and everybody <laughs> will get excited and people will go in and start talking about it like it's a religion and you know it's the world of the crypto and decentralization and this this and that right um i myself i can't tell you like hey i know everything about web three right i'm still uh learning a lot of new things and and this is something that's constantly moving so whatever was being done last week now there's better ways of doing it this week so again but you want to go and learn the concepts of web3 now there's an image in here on google that pretty much shows you like the process of going from web 1.0 read only static you got web 2.0 rewrite interactive right this is what we've seen in all the different type of websites and then now you have to rewrite trust verifiable right so you have all of these different apps that are in this ecosystem of decentralization and that's what really web 3.0 is right some people think it's like yo web 2.0 was done no it's not a lot of the things that you're doing in web 3.0 right you're going to be doing it with quote unquote web 2.0 technologies like you're still going to have a front end you're still going to have to use react you're still going to be using javascript right so a lot of those things are still there right so the whole uh front end is still being done with you know, quote unquote, web 2.0. Now I'm going to give you guys a article over here from the homie Preeti uh, Cassie Reddy, right? Shout out to her. She has amazing articles on web 3.0 and, uh, you know, for you guys to learn a little bit more about it and just seeing the whole architecture of a web 3.0 um, application. So again, for 2.0 is you got the front end, you got the back end, you got the database. It's very simple. Okay. Now we're going into this world of the Ethereum blockchain and all of the other stuff that's happening with Web 3.0. Okay. Uh, you got MetaMask, right? Providers, right? You have a whole bunch of things. Now, again, I'm going to create a video in the future talking about Web 3.0 a little bit more in detail. But again, I'm going to give you guys this article just because. The video i don't i don't have it ready right now so you might as well go in and, and, and start learning just understand how this thing works okay so those are the skills that i believe that in 2012 is gonna make a difference okay so going back to the beginning we have html css javascript react graphql typescript third-party app integrations node.js php SQL database, and of course, learn about Web3, you know, infrastructure. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop right here, guys. And what I will say is you definitely want to go and join codingphase.com if you're looking to learn how to code and you want to get an amazing deal. Okay, when you come to codingphase.com, we teach you everything that you need to learn to become a developer. You can check out some of the homies here, Hall of Fame, right? Some of our students that have done pretty well for themselves came in learn how to code a couple of, in a couple of weeks uh some of them a couple of months right but they're all working right now you know congrats to them um and at the same time you could get started with 20 bucks 20 dollars what's 20 dollars to you it's not much okay now if you want to come in and get access to uh, all the programming courses all the career bundles and the projects exclusive live events and content group coaching you can come in and sign up as a diamond member right I always recommend for people to sign up for the yearly subscription because you actually save more money. You're basically saving half the money if you sign up for the whole year. Now, believe it or not, you're going to need more than just a month, more than just two months, more than three months. And it's not because you can't get a job within that time frame. It's because you're going to have to continue to learn. If you come into codingphase.com we're going to teach you everything that you need to become a developer but guess what if you start at a job at fifty thousand dollars 
Guess what? You still got to continue to learn to go to the next stage, which is the 70 to 90,000. And then the stage after that, which is the 90,000 to 140. So guess what? If you come into coding face and you sign up for the year, you're covered, you're saved uh, as far as like saving money and you're good to go. So take advantage is a great deal. If you guys want to look into this, come to the website, just check it out. All right. You see all the amount of courses that we have. We have pretty much everything from Storybook, React, Node.js, PHP, Ruby, Shopify development, Shopify theme development, Shopify app development, uh, Go, Pug, ESNext, uh, Parcel, React, like Svelte, Angular, like literally everything that you could go into we have it at codingphase.com and we teach you things on how to make money independently so once you have your skills what do you do you could get a job but you could also use those skills to make money niche websites right creating your own application and deploying them and making income with ads etc right there's a lot of things that you can do digital products guys if you come in Original price is like $7,000 with the amount of courses that you're going to get, okay? You can come into codingphase.com, sign up for the yearly plus. You get access to everything. But I always want to tell people like, hey, you could always just get started with 20 bucks, okay? Come in. Come check it out. Come try it out, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.